His are the iconic images of iconic figures. He's captured searing moments and stirring movements, family and community, love and despair. He's traveled the world, absorbing the realities of developing nations and the glory of breathtaking landscapes. Peter Simon has spent more than 50 years through the lens. You're gonna see my attempt to document my life as it is overlaid over that generation that they call the boomer generation. In his lecture and DVD series, Through the Lens, Simon reflects on a most celebrated career of personalized photojournalism. Chronicling is the family trade. As the son of Richard Simon, founder of Simon & Schuster, Peter Simon has photographed since childhood. An early authority, he was first published in popular photography at age 15. His unbridled passion first revealed. It's really a miracle when you think about it, he wrote. The very fact that a blank sheet of photo paper is immersed in a magic combination of complex chemicals and an image slowly evolves is simply unbelievable. In that same article, he unwittingly anticipated his own legacy. It gives me a certain sense of importance. In years to come, hopefully, these images that I am creating will have lasting value because he valued the moment. Very quickly, his intuitions and inclinations propelled him toward the legends in his midst, giants like Martin Luther King Jr. and Robert Kennedy. I started working for our local newspaper, the Riverdale Press, and one thing they asked me to cover was Robert F. Kennedy campaigning for the Senate. And here he is campaigning like there's no tomorrow. For much of Peter Simon's career, he has moved among the greats, the musicians that defined a culture, the Beatles, the Stones, the dead. Thousands may have clamored to reach the stars, but Simon had the intimate perspective. I started meeting all the people who I would hear on the radio, and that was thrilling. It really was, and I got to photograph pretty much all the best musicians of the day. We're talking about late 60s through the 70s. His views of singers became our indelible ones, from candid shots to iconic album covers. His photography has been published in numerous magazines and books, documenting the Grateful Dead, the New York Mets, and Carly. Not to mention reggae, Jamaica, and life on Martha's Vineyard. The Grateful Dead just, uh, to me, epitomized the peace, love, and happiness component of the rock and roll era that drew me in so much. And uh, I followed them around as a, as a fan. Peter Simon came to chart a revolution, the eye of a generation. He was there for the strikes and sit-ins, the protests and the peace. He was there for the dream and after it. In cinematic parlance, and as many have noted, Simon was the Forrest Gump of the counterculture. Again, at Boston Common, this picture is taken of one of the many bee-ins during the spring of 68. Everyone just gathered around the pond there, just happy to be alive and feeling that we were on the wave of a new frontier. Tireless, Simon photographs still. His clients rave that he is thrillingly comprehensive, an incredible gift, and world-class. From his haven, his home on Martha's Vineyard, where he also operates his own gallery with Ronnie, his wife of more than three decades, he produces the island's annual, highly anticipated calendar. He takes family portraits, still finds the divas, and yes, still documents the catalysts of our changing times, like the Occupy movement. And as soon as this started, I thought, okay, finally, after years of apathy, People are finally starting to protest and take the problems of our country seriously again. Simon has forged an extraordinary career through the lens. It is a history he recounts as he lectures nationally and internationally with speaking engagements at universities, museums, libraries, and aboard cruise ships. And of course, here on this DVD. With his lectures, he leaves indelible impressions with audiences who rave. I just wanted to write you to let you know that 
Your speech last night moved me and inspired me not only to be a better photographer, but a more joyful, peaceful, loving person. I was awestruck. There are a few times in one's life that they were in the presence of true genius. For Peter Simon, a lifetime of capturing moments has evolved into a cultural history of record. As Diane Sawyer once said, Peter Simon is a magician, capturing moonbeams in his hand and lens. He is the ultimate photo documentarian of the boomer generation.